Joining me now is an old friend, Brian Kilcommons, professional dog trainer and owner of Great Dogs. Brian, who's to blame here? This seems to be a bit of a pattern with the owning of these shepherds at the White House and the Bidens. I think there are a couple of issues, Laura. By the way, it's great seeing you. It's been a long time. One, the training I'm a little bit confused about because it doesn't seem like the dog has had the proper foundation work to respond to command. Two, as soon as that dog bit, he should have been put in a muzzle. You know, he's in a difficult situation. And the Secret Service people are not relaxed people. And dogs read our body language. <clears throat> and when he sees these guys holding themselves and coming up assertively or surprising him, he's reacting to it. So the first thing I would do is muzzle him. Two, what I work off of when I work with aggressive dogs I assume the worst. If I assume the worst, it doesn't happen. But dogs getting out, being off lead, <clears throat> and not being responsive to direction is impossible to really direct the dog's behavior. And correcting aggression makes it worse. Well, even Biden's dog lives above the law in this White House, Brian. Watch. D.C. Uh, municipal rules, after a dog bites an individual, the dog must be quarantined for 10 days. Do you know if Commander was quarantined? I have to refer to the Secret Service. You know, my team and I kind of did a bet to see how many times I would get questions on Commander. And it's kind of laughing it off, Brian, but you got 10 dog bites in four months. 10. Right. And they need to get some professional help in there and make a decision on whether that dog can adjust to living in the White House and all the distractions and confusion that goes on, or he can't be allowed in there. But the first thing I do is there's what is called the Baskerville muzzle. It's the most humane muzzle. They can eat, they can drink, and that dog should be muzzled until they get it under control. Brian, there are a lot of people in D.C. who need the Baskerville muzzle as well, so I'm going to be getting a lot of those. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of those. The First Lady, really quickly, Brian, is saying that there's going to be new leashing protocol put in place, new leashing protocol, she calls it. Does that make you feel better about this dog? Uh, I'm not sure I know what that means as far as leashing protocol being uh, where he will not be let off the lead or he'll be taught to walk on a loose lead and take direction. As far as when you pull up in that picture, you see the tension on the lead, that runs down the lead to the dog. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wow. comes up, he may react to it. So it's really well, teaching both the owners and the dog as far as how to behave. Lots of quarantining needs to be done. Brian, I knew you'd have the answers. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.